Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is everything that we do over here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because it super helps us out and it lets me know you like what you're seeing. Sorry floor creaking above me. <laughs> Just a quick announcement before we start. Um, we are on our way to 800 subscribers. Once we get there, we're going to be doing a live stream where I'm going to be drawing your Final Fantasy XIV characters. So we are super close. We are less than 50 people away. So once we get there, uh, we'll do that. And I'm very excited for it. We do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and we come seeking Sarisha of the Vera. You are a she, are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succor, and we intend to provide them. But we should first learn more of Sri Lakshmi, that we might better understand the nature of the threat she poses to you. A simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image, daughters blessed with her beauty. Her breath became ours, her serenity our solace. There is not she would not give. Hmm. It was the Kalyana broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first called forth Sri Lakshmi from the ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess will be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives will have been colored by the summoner's state of mind, namely, that of a grieving mother who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently caved, craved a miracle, she may have also harbored thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's concept of Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vira and the Kalyana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Vira, Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will. And so we stand with the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> the S's. against the empire and give our lives for the cause to the Kalyana however she embodies transcendental beauty which they strive to create through their craft to shape crystal is less art and more ritual a sacred duty wherein each tribute is imbued with a fragment of the soul the imperials do not interfere with this holy work and so the Kalyana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight until reality asserted itself and they summoned a primal, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Ananta will. The Kalyana made the Vera make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember? Those who don't, do not wish to partake of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? It's my dark side coming out. This is the dark night. Then we shall, for without you we may be powerless to stop them. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Vahra will guide you to Jankat, <laughs> and I shall pray for your success. Well met, Scions. I am Vahra, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. So, you ready to kick some wildcat butt? Janakat, the path leads to an entrance above. Within is an etherite. You must use it to enter. We are tuning. Attuned. Oh, hello.
Why, mistress? Why does my Anamika slumber still? Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she hears not her mother's words, nor sees her mother's face. She... she is silent and empty. Only the vessel may be remade, not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Oh, this is sad. Ugh. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alizé, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood! No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service. In beauty and grace, this hath ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. Every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you if you just listen! Poor, misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Oh dear. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time.
Well, I'd say that went wonderfully. I know, I know. It was stupid and foolish, but... But I had to try, Burr. I had to. I had to try and I failed. So you have to fight. There is no other way. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make it any easier to have to ask you to face that... That thing. We can do... We can but do that which is within our power. Lise, Alphano, and I will go and seize their crystal stores. Things will not... This will not happen again. And you, when it is finished, we will be waiting for you. I didn't do that quite right, but I think I have an idea what I was doing wrong. Interesting. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. Oh, please. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all, like every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope, our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Who are you to question our choice? You, who fight without fear? We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. I'll go. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on, Alphino and Alize are waiting. In gear business. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo. He's not gonna be happy. Ah, the savage returns. Oh, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have carried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. 
Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. Why it always gotta be like this, though? <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly, but no longer. If only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. It's always got to be a thing. Anytime a woman has a powerful position, she got it because she slept her way up there. Just saying. Fedola Rem Lupus, commander of the Cranian Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble so? Could it be that the Empire's butcher is afraid? That she who walks with death is terrified of her own. I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the Resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I... I want... This guy is so creepy. Oh my gosh. I can't. mocked or looked down on me I want the power to make them pay hmm. very well then I shall give you a chance a chance to transcend your mortal limits assuming that is you are prepared to wager your life for such power transcend my lord I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. Who this guy? I wish we could have left on better terms. But that was never going to happen. It could be a problem if they get their hands on any more crystals, though. Never mind. We'll deal with that when the time comes. You have done us a great service this day. Long shall my sisters sing the praises of the Icon Slayer. Let us bear word to them of Sri Lakshmi's passing. Come, friends, to Vera Nilia. Ah, the winds whispered of your success, and your eyes confirmed their testimony. The Lady of Bliss no longer holds our Kalyana sisters in her thrall. For this we thank you. Burr did the deed. Oh, Burr did the deed, but we were but witnesses to her heroism. However, I fear this is only the beginning, for there is no cure for that which drives the desperate to beseech the gods for salvation. Should they wish to use their crystals to summon 
She locked me again. Naught can be done to stop them. We ignore our sister's plight at our peril. This we know. We shall endeavor to show them another path so that the day you speak of never comes. By Chocobo. We are all in this together. Alamegans and Ananata. Ananta. We understand that. Hopefully in time they will too. You and yours will ever be friends of the Vera. On that you have my word. We should keep be getting back to the Peering Stones. Thank you again, Sarisha, for everything. There we go. Here. Welcome back. Conrad and Marshall Tarapin came to render aid, but I hear they won't. That won't be necessary. It won't. Sri Lakshmi's gone. Ah. But I should probably start at the beginning. So you see. Incredible. I don't know what to say. If you hadn't been there to stop her, who knows where it would have ended. You've saved a lot of lives, Burr. Take pride in that. It must be said that this is something of an unprecedented situation. Previous summonings were, to my knowledge, planned well in advance by a tribe as a whole. Indeed, there are several aspects of this incident which bear further investigation. In any event, the Kalyana supply of crystals must remain limited for the foreseeable future and ambient ether levels closely observed. Understood. The Alliance will consult with the Resistance and the Vera on how best to enforce said restrictions. Thank you, Vice Marshal. To other matters, then, what news of the Imperials? None. Which itself is troubling. It seems as though the skulls of the remainder of the garrison have fully withdrawn into the peaks. We've seen neither hide nor hair of them since Velodina. Regardless of their reasons, our path is clear. Father has decided that it is time to advance east. Finally! He was also emphatic what you be sp that you be spared further duties for the present. You are to rest. It would not do for the Warrior of Light to collapse from exhaustion during the march. We may not be as strong or as quick as her, but we are soldiers nonetheless. We can deal with the Imperials. <laughs> Aye, you've earned this respite, so enjoy it. And the same goes for you, Benago. You've been away from your family too long. Don't deny it. As you say, sir. Thank you. We'll make the most out of our time here. What am I supposed to do with myself? Medial tasks? Gosh, just let me march with you. Hehe, <laughs> looks like it's up to me and mine to give you a, lot, a proper welcome. My mother prepared a special meal for this occasion, and I have it on good authority that hers is the finest cooking this side of the Veladina. Get some free food. What a beautiful gazebo. Honored guests, I pray you partake of our humble offerings as we give thanks for your many valiant deeds. All these cat people. Thank you, sir, for this warm welcome. We are honored to break bread with you and your family. Come, come. Eat your fill of our food and drink deep of our spirits. There is more than enough for all. Well, when you put it that way, don't mind if I do. Huh. She wasn't kidding when she said her mother could cook. You know, seeing her with her family, I can't help thinking of my own. Aww. How my father would come home from a hunt with dinner on his shoulder. And Ida would prepare it with herbs and spices. A mother died when I was little, so she did most of the cooking. We didn't have much, but we had each other, and that was enough for me. But they wouldn't let us have even that. Theod Theodoric, Gaius, of course, Father and Ida had to fight. I would have too if I'd been older, but they didn't have to die. It never ends, does it? 
They call us beasts and they treat us like them. They push and they push and they... Until someone pushes back. Until someone takes up arms or... Or summons a god. A false god. If the Twelve are watching us, what are they thinking? What are they thinking when they see the strong hurt the weak? When people fight and die and nothing gets better and it just goes on and on and on? I don't think the gods listen to people like me. <laughs> oh. Thanks for listening. I know I was just rambling, but I feel better somehow. Who knows what the answers are, or if there are even already. Either way, life goes on and we've got to go with it. Sorry, that sounded better in my head. I must be getting tired. Time to turn in, I think. Tomorrow's another day, eh? Let's see what it brings. Sleep well, Burr. <sighs> there is something to be said for a home-cooked meal, is there not? We must cherish these moments, fleeting as they are. The fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. Yes, that's true. There's going to be more peeps to fight. I trust you are well rested and refreshed, yes? Then let us return to the front. The greater part of the Alliance forces should have advanced into the peaks by now, but I expect we will pass many of our comrades on the road east. There is a checkpoint along the way, as I recall, but we will need only to identify ourselves as soldiers in order to pass. Is this a checkpoint? Scions, a pleasure to have you with us again. You'll be happy to hear we've taken Al Alighieri and have already begun fortifying it as our new base of operations in the peaks. Give a shout to the lads as you pass, eh? To the lads. Sure. Get up on the other peaks. Almost there. I remember how they laughed. Alliance and resistance soldiers, eager for battle, trading jokes as we marched east towards the peaks. Beyond this last line of defenses lay the locks and the city. Breaching it would be no small feat. But we beat the Imperials back, just like that. And we liberated a village, the first of many. As you can see, this part of the peaks is much higher than the northern reaches, hence why the Imperials built speculi Paratoris, where they did. See those three towers to the east? That's her. Sits right on the edge of a cliff, so attacking from the north is a fool's errand. From the south, on the other hand, she's no different from any other Imperial installation. You see now why Veladina was so important, eh? Right then. Come along. They're waiting for us in Alighieri. Here we are, the new base of operations for the Alliance and the Resistance. Oh, Ah, there you are. Greetings, General. I see you have been quite busy in our absence. Less than you may imagine. The Imperials fled at our coming and we took the village without a fight. Your timing is impeccable. We were about to discuss, discuss our strategy to see Specula Imperatoris. Though we were fresh from the road, we should be glad to attend. Good. Take a moment to gather yourselves and join us when you are ready. 
now so i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me if you liked this video please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel we are aiming for 1k so we're almost there also if you are new and you haven't yet please subscribe uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you're interested, that link is below. And that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.